today, and we're gonna talk about my top three GP coasters ever. Starting with number three is Intimidator 305. Intimidator 305 is, is a GP because the GP2 enthusiast says, quote, it makes people black out and also the blacks out. So this Intimidator 305 makes people black out as it will make people black out and black out and black out like the blackout movie. And the blackout movie is just black. And so it's pitch black if you do Intimidator 305. And blacking out is bad. You have to go to the hospital for 14 days. No, actually, no, 60 days. Like the 60 days movie. And you'll be in blacked out for 60, for about a lot. You can see Volcano. It's not open because they closed it. Because Intimidator 305 makes a blackout and blackout. And this part of the ride will make a blackout. Alright, my number two coaster ever is Millennium Floorsless at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. And Millennium Floorsless and Millennium Floorsless has a lot of block zones that it will block you out. Or black you out. Yes, it will black you out as miserable. And this, this, this lift hill, I thought this lift was fast and slow. And it's at Cedar Point in Sandusky, which is the weirdest part of Ohio. Because it's somewhere next to the lake, and there's a lot of bugs trying to bite you, and mosquitoes getting mosquito bites around your body. So that's what Millennium Forces would do to you. This is one of the GP coasters ever you ever rode. Like, what? If you're a GP, you should ride this so you can be a Millennium Force list. Whatever is this coaster called? So you can get a blackout from the block zones. And these block zones will literally kill you. Because these block zones, like if you guys have heard of block zone, a block zone is checking your ride, one train can occupy. And this is one train, so one train ops needs to be on Millennium Force List. Because that's what's called Millennium Force List at Cedar Point, whatever the place is. And actually, yeah, one train needs to be on a block zone. Or else, if, if there's like 10, 100 trains on the block zone, it'll explode the whole entire Millennium Force List ride. And that's it. That's how to talk about for Millennium Forces. Millennium, for Millennium Force. It's called Millennium Number Force. one GP coaster in the world is Kinda Ka. Because it rollbacks, and that's what the GP says. And it'll actually advance, it'll actually whip you up and actually fly off. That's just why those trim bricks. And it has so many block zones that will block you off. And look, it actually rollbacks for the whole entire ride. So if you ride this coaster right now, it will roll back. So this is actually a rollback ride. It actually rollbacks every time we ride it. Anyway, I only have to wait for 15 minutes and be stranded on the hot 100 million degrees over and you only wait for four hours on the Kinika. And that's what the GP says. It will literally roll back. So you have to roll back. Roll yourself back. Like Millennium Forceless or Intimidator 305. That blackout version of Intimidator and the block zone from... And the block zones from Millennium Forces. Now we got the rollback, so we have to roll back and block zone it and also black out. And that's pretty much it for my top three uh, GP coasters ever. And this is fake. This is not real. Millennium Force is not blackout, it's not block zone. Uh, and Terminator 305 does not, does not make you blackout. Sometimes it will. Kinaka doesn't really roll back and doesn't really look like that right now. So Kinaka does not roll back. It's really weird to find to call the roll back. So thank you so much for watching. And it's actually fake. It's not real. So it was actually a fake video. Peace.